Hello, everybody. Happy holidays. I filmed a holiday glam for you guys. I did a bold red lip, dramatic winged eyeliner, and lashes. And I already have a makeup look with a red lip on my channel, but this one is a little different, and I think you guys will enjoy it. So let's get started. I started to do my eyebrows off camera at first, but then I changed my mind and did them on camera. So what I'm using first is this MAC Shape and Shade Brow Tint Pen. On one side, there's a sponge tip that has tint powder, and this just darkens my brows without making them look so harsh. And then on the other side of the pen is a liquid brow liner, and I'm using this to fill in the sparse areas of my brows. Next, I take my dirty, dirty lash separator to get rid of the harsh lines I created. This is something I've been using to soften the look of my eyebrows because I don't have a spoolie brush anymore. I lost it a long time ago and I just haven't bought another one yet. So I'm taking my Total Tease Mascara from CoverGirl and I'm using that to define my eyebrow hairs in the front. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Hazelnut and an eyebrow brush to clean up my eyebrows. Oh, I forgot to mention, before I started filling in my eyebrows, I did put primer on them so that they could stay in place. I'm using my concealer brush from Fenty Beauty to blend out to the concealer around my eyebrows. I don't really know what happened to this brush, but it's very stiff. I do wash this brush a lot, and I thought maybe that could have been it, but I honestly don't know. I'm using my Maybelline concealer again to put all over my eyelids. If y'all are looking for concealer that is full coverage, I recommend trying out this one. It's very thick, it covers up my discoloration very well, and it doesn't even cost that much. I think this concealer was like $9 or $10. Next, I'm taking my Morphe E30 brush to blend out this concealer. Then I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade Deep to set it. The brush I'm using is my Morphe 504 brush. After that, I'm using my Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer to put in my crease. That's going to be the only thing I'm going to put on my eyelids today. Then I'm going to do my eyeliner.
So I was having a bad eyeliner day, clearly. My winged eyeliner was a complete fail. I had to keep making the line thicker because of the mistakes I was making. One side was thicker than the other, so I tried to make the other side a little thicker, but I just couldn't get them to look the same. And I also realized that the wings were not the same. And eventually I just decided to leave them alone and just apply my lashes. I don't remember where I got these lashes from and I hate that because I can't rebuy them again, but I really love the fullness of these lashes and how well they go with my eye shape. So I hope they last a long time. If I do remember the name or find the name somewhere, I will put it down in the description box for you guys. I don't even think these lashes were expensive. Now time for my face. What I'm doing first is taking my Maybelline loose powder again and putting it all over my face with my Real Techniques sponge. I use loose powder before I apply my foundation so that my skin doesn't get as oily. After I do that, I use my NYX Born to Glow foundation in the shade Walnut. I recently just purchased this foundation and I really, really like it. This foundation is just a little too dark, but I love how radiant it makes my skin look. This foundation was only $10, y'all. Yes, $10. So now I'm using a foundation brush to blend out my foundation. Going back in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, this time I'm using this concealer to highlight underneath my eyes and conceal the discoloration. I'm also putting this on my chin and my forehead. I am being very generous with this concealer under my eyes because I want that bright under eye effect and most of this concealer will come off when I start blending it out with my Real Technique sponge. So for contour, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. This is their darkest shade, 498, and I feel like I need one or two shades darker because it looks like it's the same shade as my foundation. But I'm just taking another Morphe brush and blending out my contour first. Then I'm going to take my Real Technique sponge to blend out my concealer for highlight. I like to blend out my contour first so I don't have any harsh lines and I also like for my concealer I'm using for highlight to dry down a little bit. I realize when my concealer dries down it stays where I want it to and I don't have to keep reapplying the concealer. While I'm blending out the concealer underneath my eyes, I like to start around the edges and let the concealer in the middle dry a little bit more. After that, I take a small concealer brush to get the tight spots around my nose. Using a small concealer brush helps me have control over where the concealer is going. Blending out concealer is something you can't rush y'all. Every time I've tried to rush this step, my makeup did not come out how I wanted it to.
Now I'm going back in with my contour brush and blending my concealer for contour and highlight together. I go back and forth with these brushes and sponge until I'm satisfied with the blend. Sorry y'all, I know this part is long, but I just want you guys to see what I go through to achieve a flawless beat. Now I'm ready to set my concealer. I'm using my Maybelline Loose Powder. I love how this powder looks and how light it is. It's not too light, it's just right for my skin tone. Ever since I bought this, I haven't really been using my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I still very much love my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, but I think I like my Maybelline just a little better and plus it's way cheaper. The Maybelline Loose Powder is like $8 and the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder is $40. That's a big difference. So if you guys are looking for setting powder that's cheaper but still looks great, try the Maybelline Loose Powder. I'm taking a smaller brush to blend out the setting powder on my nose. Next, I'll be using my MAC powder to set my contour and foundation. The brush I'm using is a powder brush from Real Techniques. Then I'm taking my Fenty Beauty bronzer again to bronze my face a little bit. I'm just bringing back warmth to my skin, just making my face look really warm and nice. I love this bronzer so much, y'all. To line my waterline, I'll be using black eyeshadow from my James Charles palette. I like using black eyeshadow instead of liner because it's easier to apply and it's much darker. Next, I'm using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara to put on the bottom lashes. Every single time I do this, I always get mascara on my nose in the same spot. Then I have to wait for it to dry so I don't get a smudge on my nose and it's just so annoying. Anyways, let's highlight. I'm using the MAC highlighter in the shade Global Glow. I love this highlighter so much. I love a lot of things in this video, clearly. I love highlighters so much, especially this one. Every time I put this highlighter on, it just looks like the sun is setting on my face. So for my lips, I'll be using the MAC lipstick in the shade Ruby Woo. This is my favorite red lipstick. It goes well with my skin tone, and I've seen this lipstick shade on other skin tones, and it looks great. I feel like anyone could wear this lipstick unless you have really, really dry lips because this lipstick is matte. I like that about this lipstick, that it's matte and it's also very pigmented. The color shows up really well and this lipstick lasts a long time. Going back to my eyebrows, I'm going to take my favorite eyebrow pencil and make my eyebrows a little thicker. My eyebrows look just a little too thin in my opinion, so that's why I'm going back in with the eyebrow pencil and filling them in some more. To set my whole face, I'm using my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just going to take out these raggedy flexi rods to complete the look. <laughs> I was having a hard time taking some of these flexi rods out. These flexi rods are so old, some of the caps are missing from them, so the wire was tangled up into my hair. But I still managed to make this work. The curls still came out very, very pretty. You can just wand curl your hair to get these curls, but flexi rodded curls last much longer to me. That completes this look. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.